Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to look at how we can change one chord into many different variations uh, by embellishing this chord, but either adding higher notes or adding different root notes. For example, here's the E5 power chord. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Uh, but let's embellish it a bit by changing some of the higher notes. So here's an example of that. So we're going to be sticking in the math rock slash emo side of things for this video, but this also applies to many other different styles, so if you're new to here then you can stick around and see if any of this works for you too. But that being said, this idea that i just shown you here uh, is based around a B major scale, and we're going to need this B major scale for the rest of this video and for you to write your ideas around. So it starts on the 7th um, fret here, and the, set, the E and the A string are mirror images of each other, so it's going to be 7, 9, 11. 7, 9, 11. Then when we come to the D and the G, again they're mirrors of each other. So we're going to have this time 8, 9, 11, 8, 9, 11. And the B and E string here, again they are mirrors of each other. So we're going to have here 9, 11, 12. So let's go through that again. And these are the notes that you can use along with your chords. So if we go back to the lovely uh, E power chord that I had, you saw that I was using notes from this scale. So for this one I changed, I came down to the power chord and then added the seventh in here. So I was thinking in terms of a descending melody here along with that, that chord there, which was really cool. And then you can change your harmony up as well, of course. So I got the root here, the B, and I kept this shape. But I removed the E, changed to a B. And I thought, well, why not throw that uh, C sharp in there too? You could even go add in the 11th there, on the fret, 11th fret, sorry, on the E string. So a D sharp. This is changing chord, but like I said, I want you to forget largely the theory side of things and just use more your ear. So, you know, you could also have this chord and look at some even higher notes as well, going at an ascending line. Like this. Or else, even something crazy as something like that, right? And um, the keen eyed viewer amongst you would realize that. Um, that Going through the scale, you can build all of the chords from each note. So the first, B major, C sharp minor, D sharp minor, and an E major dominant chord, so F sharp dominant, and then we're going to have another minor chord, G sharp minor 7, and we're getting near back to the tonic here, and this is going to be another minor. Oh, sorry, that's going to be diminished. In this case, A sharp diminished, and then back to that B major 7. What I'm getting at here is these chords are obviously here for you to use, along with the scale to find extra notes. So, if we strip it down again to just a power chord, this time the B power chord, we can do the same thing like we did with the E power chord. You know, find notes to work with it. Some are going to sound better than others, of course, but this is the whole thing of experimentation, right? Don't be scared. What you can do, of course, is uh, choose a particular chord pattern that's located in the scale. So I, I like a 4 2 1 progression. <laughs> in a very pop punky kind of way. For example, we could change that to. Thinking about 
out these notes from that major scale that I've shown you. Um, sorry for going so fast. I, I got excited about all of that, I guess. Uh, but this is how I, when I originally writ this, wrote, written, wrote it, wrote it, did this riff. Uh, <laughs> based around that major scale and of course you can take many other different scales as well and find out ideas there. This worked quite nicely just because all of the notes are in succession of each other in the particular key. And we'll leave it there for today. Please leave any of your curious comments down below. I'll be happy to see what you think of this idea. Uh, you can find the shape either on screen, or back earlier in the video, or maybe I'll make a web page of it, which there'll be a link for that uh, down below in the description. And uh, as always, thank you for your support. If you wanted to learn more about math rock and all that jazz, then I have an ebook available. And I want to say thank you, of course, to all the patrons of the channel for your awesome support. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.